Folks, this is what I'm going to show you real fast is basically, you know about the mass that's up there. And we'll blow into it here on full screen. And we'll stop it too, because basically we're going to have a CME that's going to come off, but that's not the most important thing right now. And you'll see the layers of protection the sun has out there, even when we're shooting off of, this is coming off core 2A. And you can see the, the signatures of it, because basically light is waves, okay? The sun has a protective barrier of circular waves that are out there, and the idea that every planet does too. Now, this is that mass that we have there. Basically, I'll come down and we'll blow that up for the hell of it, just basically because the idea that everybody loves to see it, because we know it's actually there. And basically, we go to 400, and we'll suck in on that bugger, get a nice look at it. Modern day computers and stuff like that saves a lot of time. People going and investigating with pictures, this and that, everything like that. And there you go, it's there. Okay, and basically this is what you end up seeing at the Nehemiah station that's up by the sun or anywhere that you ever can see it in front of the sun and take a picture of it because basically your camera will not black out on the sun. There may be some cameras somewhere that say that they will do that and so forth and so such, but for the most part, we'll go in at 800 and we'll get a good look at this bugger. Then I'm going to take you off into basically, and there it is, okay? I think I could get a thousand. I'm not worried about it. There's at 800. Okay. So basically what it's starting to look like when you can get a picture off a core here, this with actual, this is a fax machine. Basically it sends us back actually factually what's their radar. And then we put the color on it because basically we can match the, the color of the sun, which is white. And then we pretty much, NASA's got good computers that basically supercomputers and so forth. And then they put in the color. Okay. It's all pixels. It's all dots. But this stuff is actually out there. Now, this is always showing up there. And basically, it's starting to look like it has, that it's like a planet with a bunch of tight moons to, attached to it. Uh, and what's funky about it, when you think about it, is when everybody always starts, I mean, your mind can think, think things, okay? Everything's psychology, everything's psyops, okay? But I'm not trying to psyop your psychology, you, but the idea that you actually see what you see. Okay, what's right next to the sun? Now, we were gonna go. We're gonna go ahead and go out into. We're out here in space, and basically the actual factual. The only thing you're supposed to see up there by the sun would be Mercury or Venus. Okay, when we know it's not it. Basically, this object is closer and hell bigger than even possibly Jupiter. Okay. Because when you know the size comparisons that we're going to take and show you the actual factual data on that. Now, the one thing why I'm here, check out Pluto. Now, remember, they're always trying to tell us that, and we're going to explore Pluto, the location. Now, the size, yes, Pluto is smaller than Mercury. But still, the actual, if you were had a model of something that, you know, whatever the power to be, whatever anybody wants to call it, uh you got minus 361 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, we know that basically already with radioactivity and whatever the hell is going on in space from our solar activity, when we are in a fall solar system, we're farther away from the sun right now than we are going to be for a while because until we get back to the summer solstice where we get closer to the sun again, which might be an all-time record, and we've had record temperatures broken, uh, 15,200 plus, okay, and the year's not over, and... Right now, the idea that Mercury is frying its ass off. You never would want to go to Mercury. Mars either, okay? All the time the money spent on Mars is a joke because the idea that Pluto, even though it's smaller, if anything we wanted to work on and trying to make a model and turning something into a habitable planet, which man has the ability to do, we know we do have that ability, and forget uh, the moon, or we could practice on it, right? But the moon does not rotate, okay? Now let's actually factually go back out into space. Now what I'm trying to get... To, in into your brain is the factual of the size of this thing and that it's there by by the sun okay now I've got to pop down real fast and try to save and make sure that we get uh, to stay up here in space with it and basically we went to black and you can still see the objects there next to the sun even through layers okay so I'll get the zoom tool here and we'll zoom back out to like a hundred and then you'll realize that we're at the video that basically from the core, basically the Sechi, the Soho cameras, okay, 
that that object is there okay and it's next to the sun now let's check out how huge that object is by you actually knowing and seeing it now that's a huge cme that came off the sun and let's finish watching that as it comes out and that the circular defensive mechanisms that the sun has around it uh basically actually factually protect it okay doesn't want anything near it doesn't want anything snuffing it out okay now, no, I'm not worried about this thing snuffing the sun out, okay? I'm not really worried about anything snuffing the sun out. It's pretty much basically by carbon dating, we know when the idea of the sun will more than likely burn itself out, okay? Now, this object is actually there, and that CME actually happened, okay? And I apologize for the advertising that you get stuck with when I accidentally let it go to zero. So this object's actually out there, okay? It's a mass. It's M whatever, Okay, because we know that it's called the M55, anywhere 50 to 55 is what they put on this thing for a number. Mass number 50 to 55, okay? Now, you know it's out there, and you know you've seen the video, and you can back it up and blow it up, and it's there. This is all actual factual. Now, if you realize the size of the sun compared to Jupiter, which I'll put that in too real fast, but Mercury and then Pluto is smaller than Mercury. But the idea that it's a great model, that the idea that if mankind was ever going to, or if there would possibly be something that would be as stupid as everybody that's on the face of the Earth, the majority that's on the face of the Earth. Hopefully, they up there are stupid too, and then we could basically, right? Because why We know that if we had something smarter, it would take, take advantage of us and control us, right? Correct. That's what happens pretty much here on Earth, what our population that we have now. Okay, since I've got it here too, we'll just scroll up and you'll see that those are the signs when you usually see on anything solar, looking at any schematics that anybody has, either uh, astronomer or astrologers, okay? They'll use the symbols that are ancient, okay? Now, if you notice, it's a little bit harder on some search engines to find the Supergiant's main sequence lately because, Eddie, they don't want you making uh, yourself knowledgeable of what's out in space and what size it. Now, some things are, it doesn't matter, even 200 times the size of the sun or 800 times the size of the sun. And I've got to stop something in my ear. So here you have the sun and Jupiter comparison. So that when we plop out into space, and as I also make you realize that the factual, and you basically probably already know it, but the idea that the size difference of 800 times 200 times, 100 times, 30 sometimes the size of the sun and everything like that, and that we do get some light down here. And basically, why on all my links that when you go to my videos that I always show you, uh, and then we'll give you the planet size differential too. So now you know and can keep an idea of what the size differences of all these masses out in space are, okay? Actual factual data, okay? Now, going back out to space, Yes, this is actual NASA's data, but basically these are Voyager 1 and 2, our oldest satellites that are far out, that we put out there to go out deep in space, okay? And this is actual that they're going, they're moving right now, always trying to go farther out into space, okay? And this is your time clock. And you can go to there on this address that's sitting up here right there, okay? Sometimes I don't know if it's the blue helps or that helps just to go up there. Okay, so the massiveness size of space and... Lots of things about Pluto add up to the idea that why, even though it's small, they're trying to make us forget that it's a planet. It's got ice. It's got an ocean. Basically, the guy discovered it in 1915 or something, took a couple pictures of it and died, didn't even know that he had discovered a planet, okay? And yes, it is a planet, ladies and gentlemen. Just because it's small doesn't mean the idea to forget about it. The reason everybody wants you to put it out of your mind as a planet is they want you to forget about it, okay? Now, in my videos, this is currently, okay, this is October 12th. October 11th, sorry, and basically Uranus, Neptune, it's all out our dark side on our back door. I'm pretty sure I've got everybody pretty much hammered into the head now, realizing that that stuff is way at our back door, okay? There's the sun, and basically there's all kinds of models that I can do. I can go ahead and speed up our activity, the hour to 12 hours, okay? And the Earth will spin and you will be able to see that action. Okay? We rotate. The moon follows us. Okay? The moon is basically stagnant. Okay? The dark side's not going to come around. That's where our secrets lie. That the idea of NASA is not really even showing you any images of basically our brand new curiosity, which we can get that images. I know it doesn't take but a few hours to have those images taken up 
So we got Jupiter here, which is humongous, okay? And the actual factual compared to the sun. We'll and quickly, we will basically show you the, the latest quake there, 2.7 up in Alaska, okay? Didn't mean to spin it around, just a click wave of screwing up on that. And basically, we're going to show you the quakes in the United States on the eastern part of the United States. Okay, not here on this map. We'll go to actual factual data that we will show you it and not hide it from you. And there you go. You've got to go to way more one site. Okay, and then I actually have the most recent also on. So when I'm always saying how small Jupiter is and actually factually the Earth is to the sun, remember when I'm showing you this. Okay, Jupiter is that damn small compared to the sun. So how damn small is Earth up there? And then the actual factual that you know that the object that you are seeing here is huge and that we have weather modification, we know that it exists, and the sun does not like this object up near it and other objects in comets and asteroids that have been flying by and going into the sun, which you know you've seen my footage of that recently and not a lot of people talked about it. And basically I'm going to go back into that video and end up showing that on the next one or two to half dozen videos or something like that to get everybody realize and make you actually realize that you know that that object right there does exist and it's so damn large all right it is so huge that why are we not being told or talk about it okay why because it messes with markets and so forth and people will just spend money on survivability and not spend money on foo foo fa fa Oh, e make myself look pretty for the day. Okay, they're going to actually be substan uh, stuff that is actually sustainable on life's earth. Okay, they're not going to waste their money on gas. They're not going to waste their time watching TV. They're going to be ending up spending their time educating their kids, survivability, so forth and so on. And propaganda exists and bullshit exists. And ass back stabbers are everywhere. Okay, and everybody's out just for a buck. Okay. That's what we have. That's always in the psycho, psyche, the mind of the psyche of the human being. Okay, survivability. Survival of the fittest. Now I've got my timeline scooting along and it's back like next year. Okay, 2013. And like I was saying, I believe I have to get back into it. But yeah, basically what we're somewhat interested in the idea that, but we don't see any of the items that like uh, we would want to, you know, see here it is the actual factual. We got Jupiter here, okay, the sun's over here, okay, Earth is right there with the moon, all right, and we're back in the 3rd of December 2013, and there's supposed to be some stuff going on, okay, so Venus is going to be somewhat close to Earth, uh, remember, always keep an eye on Pluto, way the hell out there, nice and safe, not in an area that's going to get itself fried by the sun, i.e. Mars would get its ass fried by the sun and so would Mercury. Okay, and there's our moon. And Earth seems to be hiding out in a very nice area and that's why the idea to watch where Pluto is because it's got a very nice area on the outside of that belt. Okay, that it hides and seems to be pretty darn safe out there in its platitude. Okay, remember this stuff's always on our back door. Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. Okay, Remember how huge Jupiter is, okay? Why it's not got a lot of stuff around close by it? Because it's real big. Anything pops into it, and then we've been seeing stuff that's been also Saturn and Jupiter, okay? And Saturn's got some very interesting rings and a ton of moons, okay? So there's tons about space that they're keeping us in the dark about. Number one, this huge optic next to the sun, okay? Because it's there. It's not a glitch. It's not fuzz on your lens or anything like that. It's actually there, okay? And you can see the action from watching the solar flares and seeing that the idea that it's possibly it plus a lot of other stuff that the sun, yes, folks, the sun just does not like to have this around it, okay? Because it does this stuff, okay? We'll slide over and we'll leave you with this and watching that image that's actually there and backing up and watching all the size of Jupiter and the sun and that's the sun right there. So what the hell is this huge thing right there? Okay? Because the sun sure doesn't like it. Remember, layers, layers, layers. And that's why this is a government shot. But, but layers and layers and layers hide the facts.
Everything exists factually, and it's not just in your mind. Just more later.